Hi, Mr. Noteworthy. Hi, great to see you. Come on in. We're going to have a lot of fun today. <laughs> I'm glad to see you brought your recorder today. Sure did. All right, my thoughts exactly. Let's do this. Recorders come in many sizes, and they all play basically the same. Now let's take a look inside, starting with the mouthpiece. This part is called the fipple. Here we are looking out through the window. Now entering the barrel section is the thumb hole. The other holes are where your fingers will go. You will notice the double hole at the bottom. As we move to the foot joint, we see another set of double holes. We'll learn more about those later. It has three sections. The section you blow into is the head joint. The middle section is the barrel. And the bottom piece is the foot joint. This part is really easy. We can all do this together. Let's start by waving our left hand. Good. That's the hand we're going to learn to play with. What about my right hand? Good question. Rest your right hand at the bottom of the foot joint, where there are no more holes. We'll start by covering the top three holes with the pad of our fingers. The pad makes sure that the holes are covered so there's no air sneaking out. Now set your left hand, first, second, and third fingers on the top three holes, just like this. Like this? Good job! And you're keeping your fingers nice and curved. That's what we want to see. The thumb is a very important part of playing your instrument. Always make sure your thumb is covering the thumb hole, like this. Now you try. Make sure to curve your fingers and use a soft part to cover the holes. Rest your right hand at the bottom of the foot joint. And don't forget, the thumb is a little different. Hold it like this. Your fingers should look like this. Make sure your thumb is covering up the thumb hole and your finger is covering up the holes. Sometimes our fingers have trouble finding the holes again, but if you practice, eventually your fingers will know exactly where to go. Before you place the recorder on the dry part of your lips, say, oh. Let's all say it. Oh. Oh. To get a nice even tone, we need to practice how to blow into our instruments. A good exercise is to put your hand in front of your mouth, like this, and blow. Let's all try. Do you feel the air? Yeah. Now blow just a little bit, a tiny bit, so you barely feel it. Like this? I think you're getting it. Now let's use our recorders and blow into the mouthpiece in the same way. While we're doing this, have your back straight, your arms out, and make sure to keep all three fingers covering up the holes like this with your left hand. Remember to have your thumb cover the hole on the back of the recorder. Make the O mouth shape and place the recorder on the dry part of your lips. Great. Okay, ready? And? And I think your right hand might have slipped back over some of the holes. There you go. One more time. Okay, I could hear it in there. Now let's do just one nice long breath. Good, I think you got it that time. Now the note we've been playing with all three fingers down is the note called G. See how on this fingering chart, there's a spot for the thumb and the first, second, and third fingers? Now, let's learn how to separate our notes. Here, we are looking inside the mouth. We separate the notes by touching our tongue on the back of our teeth, by the roof of our mouth, right there. By placing your tongue in that spot, say, two, two, two. Two, two, two. Okay, let's do it together. Two, two, two. Good! And that's what you're going to do into the recorder. So keep your breath coming out in one long stream. 
it's your tongue that's interrupting the air a little bit on the roof of your mouth. So let's try this one more time with the recorder using all three fingers and your thumb on the back. Good! Now that was nice! But this time do this with one single long breath and your tongue on the roof of your mouth. So one more time. Now you've got it. Remember to make the two 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 sound and use all three fingers and your thumb.